I'm just going to create a quick video here that will go over some of the things of managing your inventory. I've written a guide for this on the website, but I just wanted to make a quick video to go over things in uh, better detail to show you what exactly I mean. So, as you might have imagined, any game that uh, limits your amount of inventory space becomes an absolute pain in the ass at the very start. And even for me, after progressing quite a bit, and I now have 75 slots instead of the 50, I still am at the point where I have my inventory at its limit all the time. So I'll go into my inventory and just go over some of the basics, and I'm probably breaking some of my own rules by explaining this here. But um, the, be the best thing to always know is never to, to carry more than you really need. Now that gets difficult when you come to this tab, because you pick up ingredients without even realizing it, and it just makes it hard to keep things managed when you're picking up you know, stupid things like grass and twine that you really don't need. Like in this case here, how much stringy twine do I really need? I have a shitload of it, more than I need. I could probably drop two of these squares if I really wanted to. Uh, bolts are useful for making ammo, but still, I don't think I need that many, and it's not like it's a rare resource to find. Planks, same. This. So, like, I think this the starter, if you're ever having a hard time and you want to pick up something useful, just go in here and start dropping shit. I can drop all of this. Uh, maybe I'll see, save some. Look, I have a sack of ten here. I may as well get that, because that will immediately drop a space. Uh, get rid of some wood. Get rid of some of these. Um, definitely get rid of that stringy twine. I got more than I know what to do with. I'll drop some more here. I think that's alright for now. I'll drop some of these axle things too. So, actually, this is another good example. The stacking in this game is dreadful. Now, it should automatically reset, and a lot of times it does stack properly, but in this case, look, I have a stack of 19 and a stack of 1. Now this is taking up two slots, but they could be stacked on top of each other. So I'll drop this, pick it up again, and now we have freed up a space in my inventory without actually having lost anything. So that's a good thing to always know, but in general when it comes to this tab, never never hoard more than you really need. Now this can be quite a useful thing here. If you find you have a lot of junk that you want to get rid of, set craft and stuff out of it. You can make blast powder. These kegs are uh, used quite often in the higher tier weapons. Duct tape used for construction too. You know, craft these things if you can. Saves no point in wasting inventory space for things that are only ever used as a crafting ingredient. If you have a, hell, a shit ton of bolts like I do here, there's never any harm to start crafting ammo. Just hold square. All ammo costs is uh, 10 pieces of wood and I think it's 2 bolts. And that same goes for any piece of weapon or ammo that you ever use. So, we'll do it now that I've cleared up nice a bit of a couple of bolts at least. It won't have emptied things out, but as you can see it's dropped down a bit now. You never need to have more more than you need. Now here's another dodgy looking stack. I'll just drop all of these. And uh, I know it's still going to create two stacks, but now I have at least got a stack of 99. And maybe I could eat some eat some of them or something if I get hungry. Not that it's a concern. Um, oh, where are we? Traps is another one. And this is one that I was quite guilty of. That I seem to hoard traps. Never hoard the traps. Maybe hoard the ones that are, are epic just for your own storm shield defenses. But... For these kind of crappy ones, especially green or grey, just use them in the missions. It, it's of, of help to the team, it's helped you, it'll get you a higher score at the end of the level. You may as well just start using these and never hoard them. And hoarding is the, probably the number one rule of, of how your inventory fills up so much, because you've just got so much shite that you're kind of saving for a rainy day, and by the time that rainy day comes, you've found better. And you'll never end up using that stuff then. Now another good example of, of not hoarding is when you have the the crafting recipe for it. So let's say I was really tight on space and I have a heating pad schematic here. Excuse me. Um, so why, why is bother keeping this? I'm stuck on space, I need to pick up something more important. I'll just drop this. Well, it, Actually I won't drop this. What I'll do is recycle this because this will give me some bits. Now this may end up contribute more to the problem because if the resources you get for it aren't any good, it's a waste of time. You can drop it then. But you know, recycling these things is always worth looking at. The more uh, rare the thing is, the better rewards you get, even though that reward's pretty shit for such a rare item. If you've got a schematic, just t just toss the item. And the same goes for your weapons here. Like, I've got a lot of green weapons here. I've got a lot of purple schematics. And I don't even use melee weapons, no, it's a whole lot of me. Just throw these ones away. They're they're not going to be any of any use. The, the lower level ones, they're not going to be of use to you, especially if you don't use the melee weapons. Just toss them. I never use my melee weapons, and I should really try and keep these down. But I'll recycle them. Uh, the hammer is a bit shit too. See, I'm getting some copper. Golf drill. Let's get rid of all this shit because I never use it. 
Confirm recycle. This should give me a nice little bit of stuff from my inventory. Nothing got lost out. Down to 63. Same goes for weapons, but another thing to know about weapons is you've got weapon durability. So you can shoot the weapon a certain amount of times before it destroys. Now if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look on the right, uh, very right of the square, it's easy to see on this orange one here, there's a little green bar. Now that's how the durability of that weapon. When that goes down to the bottom, the weapon breaks. Now you can see this one's already pretty low. The thing you should know is you can recycle the weapons up until this point and still get the resources for them. So it's... You may as well. I may as well just recycle this weapon because it's going to break soon. It's just wasting space and it's not even a high level weapon to begin with. So by recycling that, I've now gotten rid of some handy space in my inventory to uh, to leave room for more for more valuable things. Now the reason I'm I'm in my storm shield level is because storm shields have storage. That start is crap, not possible. but you can upgrade it as you, as goes on with the skill trees, and you can access your storm shield storage. You have a tongue twister. From here. Now, for now, I've got some. I could probably take this. Uh, switch panel. I could probably take this because I already have a, st a, t a stack of them in my inventory. I have a stack of bacon as well, so I can take that and free some space. So, like, I don't tend to use rockets all that much, but if, if I ever needed them, I don't want to throw this weapon away. Might as well store it here for a rainy day. Same goes for, like, these. Uh, a big stack. Say you wanted to, to throw. A bit of wood in here. You're, you've got a lot of metal, and you're about to do a mission that will get you a lot more. But storm bolts is, is good here if you want to build uh, some ammo for your defenders. If you feel that's the way you want to go. But never, never uh, waste your space with this storage thing. Just throw what you need, and if you don't need it, just throw it away. Even if you don't want to recycle something, there's no harm in just dumping a gun if it's a piece of crap. If someone wants it, they can take it. Now, we've pretty much covered most of the things that you can you can do from in from in game to give a recap you if you have a schematic throw it away if the weapon's really broken throw it away if you're not going to use it and it's a low level weapon throw it away also mean recycling the same process um if you don't use melee weapons just start tossing them keep the high ones in case of emergency make sure you use all your traps in a level make sure you make ensure that everything is stacked if you have like in this case two stacks of these i really don't need this two i'll just throw it away that'll save me a little bit extra room if you want, you can craft things in the left to get rid of some of the base products, and it'll give you the the main final piece. And that already now, since I started this, I've I've gotten nearly free 15 free spots in my in my inventory. But uh, on top of the crafting as being a a way to kind of get rid of weapons you already have, so if if uh, if I want to get rid of a weapon, I have the schematic. Another thing that actually building the weapon does is it consumes a lot of your resources. So in, as you can see on the left column here, there's quite a lot of things that go into this. 24 of those little axle pieces, 2 rotating gizmos, 8 copper, and 12 of the blasting kegs. So in order to get those resources, and if I have them, that's going to consume quite a bit from this tab. There's no point in hoarding these resources. They're only used for crafting. So like, there, there's absolutely no reason to keep large quantities of these resources for no good reason when you've got you know crap weapons in your inventory. Like there's no good reason why I should have uh, uh, to say a blue machine gun. I don't have one, but if I did, it was no reason to do so because I had the schematic for a purple. May as well use the best one. Um, one final thing about this, and you can actually do it from this menu, is your skill trees. Your skill trees are worth a hell of a lot. And there's something that most people don't often see at the start of the game, particularly because the game doesn't guide you to your skill tree very well. But well, there's two skill trees, research and the standard skill tree. And in both of those, there's various ways for you to get additional slots on both your uh, your backpack and your storm shield. They come in sets of five, and I'm pretty sure in the first level of the research tree you can get an additional ten, and in the skill tree you can get quite a lot more, and on top of that you can get points for your storm shield. I don't think I've put too much focus on my storm shield just yet. But it's usually this little thing with the kind of the boxes. So that's additional five, and there's a little one down here for an additional five. In your main skill tree here, there's probably I don't know the skill tree off too well. I can see one straight away that's here. Additional five. It's so like by the time you get a bit further on in the game, you should have quite a lot of slots increased. And as you progress through the game and you get to Plankerton. Copper becomes a sort of a, a low quality resource. You don't find it anymore because there's lots of silver in Plankerton. At that stage, you can probably start throwing away your 
your rusty metal pieces and your planks and the, the cheap low level twines, you get rid of your copper because you, you're not going to make the resources for them anymore. When you upgrade your schematics, like for example when I upgrade this one here, it becomes a silver and the requirements then to upgrade it, the, the resources will also change and become more of the rare resources. So if you have high level schematics there's no point in keeping low level resources because you're not going to have anything to craft with them anymore. Bringing you back to the whole thing of just don't hoard stuff. But I, I think that's about it. There's a, I'll add it. There's a text guide in the description down below along with the, the beginner's guide I've written for this game and various other guides for things. So if anyone has any suggestions of further videos or guides just let me know and I'll, I'll get something at it.